Hey everybody, welcome back to the Super Thomas Bros. Um, you looked, uh, oh yeah, you found the plunger shoes, that's right. Yeah, and uh, actually, you know what, I should probably look and see where I have to go for those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I'm like, oh. uh, where do I go for those? Yeah, so just up there. Okay. Alright, uh, oh. Wow. Alright. Careful, man. Oh, it's over there, yeah. Yeah. God, those things are fucking weird. I hate them. Cha They're stupid. They're stupid. They're ass, and I don't like it. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit! Yeah! Oh man! I got music notes too. Nice. Hell. How many music notes are in this game? Uh. Oh, sh oh shit, you had to be Kazooie. Oh yeah, huh. Alright, there's one more. That's it. Is there any more in any of the levels just while I'm here? Might have. Oh, Witchy World and Glitter Gulch are still some. But. I'll go back to those. Alright. Uh, yeah, I gotta be Kazooie, I guess. Heck. You, you fucked it up. Oh, what's over there? Up. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Uh, Whoa! Don't like that guy. He's a fucker. Yeah, man. Whoa! That, oh, was shit, no! that was the wrong egg! That was the wrong egg! You goofed it hard, Steven. Now he's leaving. Heh. <laughs> nice, nice shot. Nice shooting, soldier! Yeah. Um, um, okay, so you have to go be Kazooie and do that. Yeah. See, but you go... goofed it. Heck! You goofed it, you goofed it so hard. So I assume what's gonna happen is you're gonna hatch that, it's gonna be one of those floaty things. You gotta go down by the red mumbo, um, and, uh, be Eat Banjo something. himself, and then climb up that, whoa, climb up that green vine. God, holy fuck. <laughs> and, uh, you'll plant another bean. Yeah. I assume that's what's going on. Correct me if I'm wrong. No! No! Okay. Right. Gotta keep them separated. Oh, man. I love the uh, Osbournes. So, um, we were talking about Computer Animation Festival. We've been talking about Computer Animation Festival, I should we have. We sure, sure have. And, um, we're gonna keep talking about it. Yep. It's gonna be on the midterm, guys. There's, there's a quiz, by the way. After a quiz, all this, yeah, there's a quiz coming up at the end of our show, like when we're like like the end of our like when we're done forever. Yeah. And if you fail, we're gonna tell your parents. Oh man, you don't want that to happen because no you're way. already on thin ice, guys. Yeah. I'm just I've been talking to your parents, especially your mom, and um, yeah. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> the next so we talked about Styro two. Yeah. Do you know what the next one is? Um, is it that weird, like, glowing lion thing? Uh, yeah, it's, it's called Fire Beast. Fire Beast, that's right. <laughs> yeah, which um, is an appropriate name. Yeah. Um, so in that one, it's just, um, that was really nothing. It's it's just like, um... It's another visual one. Yeah, kinda. It's just like this, like, he looks like a lion, but, like, his fur is, like, kind of, like, rainbow-colored. And it just kind of looks cool. It's, like, it's cool to look at, and then he kind of... Just sits the, uh, sits around. That's that's honestly. I mean, that's all that's, I can really pretty, describe. Yeah, that's about pretty it. much all it is. Yeah. So there's not much to talk about there. Um, do you know what the next one after that is? Um. Is that the life of a spider? <laughs> yeah. Okay. God, it's crazy how you just know that shit. Oh, you fuck! No! Hold on, I, I'm gonna have to kill. I'm gonna do something about this fucker. Fucking bees. Fucking bees or wasps or whatever it is. And I'm just gonna sleep here and then get yeah. some. I, just, I hope I don't have any bad dreams. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so, yeah, it's the life of a spider. So, basically, the life of the spider is just like the life of the fish and the frog. And it's a spider that's, you know, chilling, it's doing a spider thing, and it's and it goes on a web. And on the web, it's like slowly descending down from the ceiling. And it goes down, and it goes down, and it goes down, and then eventually there's a ceiling fan that it has to cross, and then the blade of the ceiling fan comes around, and it's like, whoop, <laughs> and the spider's fucking yeah, dead. Yeah, that's the life of the spider. The life of the spider is, I guess, that it just comes down from the ceiling and gets hit by a fan blade, and then... I feel like the life of blank dude, whoever made those, and submitted them to the Computer Animation Festival, just kind of shotgunned it. With like up like three of the same fucking thing, and then like oh one of them will win. Yeah right. 
And no, it didn't happen. I don't know which one won, actually. Yeah, was there a winner? I don't really know. I was. I don't know if they were like in order of like maybe who won and stuff. Either like. Well, there's no fucking way that Devil's Mind Ride is better than Mandelbrot Zoom. So. Right. I mean, or let's just, let's just vice fucking first. be real. Well, I mean, maybe it's the reverse order. Maybe it starts from the worst and then it goes to the best. Like and then you're the telling last me one. that Fire Beast is better than Mandel Zoom. Mandel Zoom know, right? should have won. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right, that yeah. was pretty good too I, I, anyway so um uh yeah so after the spider is you'll never guess the name of this one but it's a sequence from the evolution of form <laughs> i know which one that is though that's like another visual one yeah um like right off the fucking bat from that title you can tell that it's like bullshit you know yeah, it's like, basically, I think it's just like a bunch of shapes that kind of like combine and turn into other shapes where it kind of like freezes in place and then they transform more and more. Kind of like evolution, I guess. Yeah, um, almost as if like that's why they called it that. Yeah, that's, that's a punch. Um, yeah. Mm. But yeah, um, that's pretty much... And all there is to really describe about it. I mean, and it changes colors and stuff too, so. Oh, there's yeah. the mumble switch right there. Oh, shit! Okay, so I have to keep a tab in my memory of where that is. Okay, I'm just gonna go in here and s backtrack to see how I can get there as mumbo. Okay. Um, at, at that point, there's two left, right? There's two segments of Computer Animation Festival. Yep. Left. Um... And uh, the the one after that would have to be Steam, yeah. The music video to Steam. Um, that one is a really good one. Yeah, um, and then technological threat after that. Yeah, but gotta talk about Steam a little bit, maybe. Yeah. So for I I think that Steam is like the headliner of the whole computer animation festival. Yeah. And I would imagine that the reason why it was distributed so much is probably because it, they got help from whatever fucking record company was doing Peter Gabriel shit. Yeah. Um, because the music video for Steam, Peter Gabriel's Steam is Steam, um, was, like, computer animated. Like, it was, like, at the yeah, time, it, it was, like, like, cutting edge, you know? Even though it was fucking weird. Yeah, it was um, really wacky. So wacky, man. Clearly. <laughs> Um, and, uh, they decided to enter that into the film festival and fuck all the other indie artists up, I guess. I assume. Yeah, or something. I don't know. Maybe Peter Gabriel at the time was kind of indie. Probably not. I would say not. I don't, yeah, I don't know when in his career this kind of came out, but I would imagine not. Yeah. Not if he had the money to drop on that kind of fucking video editing. Yeah, there's, and, it was kind of crazy. There's just like... You know, it's a music video, so, you know, it's there's the song playing, but he's kind of, like, like, walking, like, there's parts where he's, like, walking into this, like, computer animated world, but he turns into, like, water, like, his whole body is just, like, kind of water and then, like, fire and stuff like that and everything. And turns into steam. Uh, if I had to summarize the theme of the video, I would say the theme is steam. Yeah. Um... Which, honestly, I kind of wish that if you opened up Valve's Steam software, it would play the whole fucking song every time before you had to, like, yeah. before you were able to actually use it and stuff. Do, like, do, they, do. yeah. Do, 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 do. Um, by the way, if it, that, that's worth watching on its own, as and you'll find it definitely on YouTube as its own video, like, this, just Peter Gabriel's Steam music video. Yeah. Um, that's all you really need to say. I, I, yeah, I don't. I don't really want to go like scene by scene because it's a whole song. It's a whole music video. It's yeah, that would take way too long too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's it's just wacky. You know, he's he's kind of bendy and, and and crazy. There's a part when he's shaking a baby tree, and, and uh, then baby ba a baby out. falls out, and then uh, it goes into the baby's head, and it like zooms into his DNA, and then it's like the universe, and then it ends. It's yeah, crazy. or something. Yeah. Man, what what a, what a rush. Right. Oh man. Right. Make that. Rain make dance. it rain, Steve. Make it make rain. Make it rain. Make it. I'm trying to. I'm brushing my hand against my palm. You know how that goes. Oh sure. So. so uh, oh. The last one. Yes. The last. Technolo 
we're segment. on the last. This is the last episode where we're gonna be fucking talking about computer animation. Yes. Probably, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll probably keep talking about it just not, in yeah. general. You know, not sure. So yeah, so the last one is called technological threat. Do you wanna you wanna do that one? Yeah. So for that one, um, it's most of it is actually just like standard. 2D art, like it's, you know, not computer animated, it's like just an like simple animation. Um, and it's, you see like nine of these workers in this office, and they're like dogs, by the way, I think. Like they're anthropomorphic dogs. And, um, they're like at their own desks, like working, and they're just, it's kind of like, you know, like the typical, like, cartoon work desk where there's just, like, an in and out box and then they just pull something from the in and then they write a bunch of stuff and then they put it in the out box and they're all kind of doing that and there's just, like, this boss watching over them. Um, and and, pa paper pushers, essentially. Yeah, like, paper pushers. Oh, it did it again. The, the fucking the Jinjo. Fucking just, Jinjo? You, like, stick to your fucking shit. designated space, you piece of fuck. Fuck you. Asshole. Shit. Um, anyway, so, um, <laughs> so, like, as, uh, these workers are working, some of them are, like, quote-unquote slacking off. Like, they're kind of, like, like, they, like, yawn for a minute, and then, like, the boss who's watching them gets pissed off that they're, like, you know, um, you not know. Not working. Yeah, not working for, like, a minute. And then, no, like um, a second. Like yeah, like a second. Yeah, just like not like you know the yawn or you know it's like a pencil falls he's, he's off the desk to sneeze. or something. He's, he's like about to sneeze, and then the boss is looking at him like he's he's got his finger on the fucking button to like yeah, fire and this, him. Yeah, this button, by the way, it doesn't just fire this worker. It like opens this pit underneath their desk where they just sort of fall, and you don't know where the pit goes to, but it's probably nowhere good. Yeah. Um, and um, so. Like, they're afraid of, like, messing up, but, like, you know, it's like, you know, if one of them yawns or takes a sip of water or something like that, like, it just presses the button and they just fall in this pit. And then when they fall into the pit, the the floor comes back and they, um, um, they're replaced by these, like, the these 3D animated, like, robots that come in. And then they start doing the work, like, and they do it, like, much faster, I assume. So, like, they're all kind of nervous of being replaced, and they are, they are all replaced except for one. Well, and well, be, be, my favorite, because, so, like, there's, like, a lot of, like, the dog dudes that get fired and replaced for, by like, robots. For, like, random reasons. Yeah, but my favorite one is the guy who, like, starts to sneeze and then stops himself and looks over at the boss, and then he shoves two pencils in his nose, and he's like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna sneeze, and then, yeah. and shoots, and then, like, the two, the two pencils. pencils fly out of his nostrils and hit another dog in the neck, and, and the he's dog in the neck screaming. is just like, ah! <laughs> and then he hits the button twice, and both of them fall yeah. down into the pit. That shit is that's comedy gold. Yeah, that's that is so funny. such a fucking goof. Such a goof, yeah. Man. Anyway, that, that was that's my favorite part of the whole whole short. But they eventually, yeah, like you said, they all get replaced except for one dog dude. Yeah. They're all robots except for him. Yeah, and then um. So, he's- and then now, like, basically the boss, I assume, is just looking for something to fire him. Like, he's not even doing anything wrong, he just has his finger on the button. And so, um... Uh, what happens He's- in he's like... He's just, like, riding as fast as he can. Like, just, like, riding so fucking fast, and then the boss eventually just, like, it's like... Oh, and, like, yeah, runs up to him. yelling at him. Because- because at that point... He looks over at the boss, and then the boss is a robot. Yeah, that's right, yeah. The boss had turned into a robot without you really seeing it. And then, so, like, they're all, except for him, they're all robots. And so he's, he's riding as fast as he fucking can. Smoke is coming off his fucking pencil. Fuck. And then the, the, the boss robot, uh, like, wow. The boss robot, uh, like... Kind know, of it's storms just, out of the room, I think, right? Yeah, for for whatever reason, he's, he's just, just like yeah, ah! pissed off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then eventually, so now the boss is gone, and it's just the dog dude left with all the robots. And then he starts, um, 
he he's pissed off at the robots, and so then he starts fighting back by like basically destroying them. And like he uh like in one case he like gets like a bike in tire inflator and then like inflates the uh um the bottom you know, the of the robot bottom of the robot until he kind of blows up and then like one no 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 uh, no, no, no he doesn't he, blow no. up he his head he gets so tall because he's getting blown up that the top of his head touches the the lamp on the uh, on the ceiling and then he kind of gets electrocuted yeah like that's what yeah that's right and then gets fried and then so yeah he's he's just like you know, destroying all these robot replacements until it's just him and then one and robot one other. dude left. And then yeah. there's a showdown. Yeah, so then there's sort of the showdown where, like, um... Um... And then the, uh... Oh. Oh, you know what? I should probably go to sleep. Um... <laughs> I forgot how... Because the boss gets involved again. He shows up, I think. The, oh, yeah, so... Like, the boss is there, and then, um, like, he's, like, about to hit the button, and they're they're both standing on top of a trap door, you know, the, one, the ones that have been opening, and then both of them look at each other, and then they slide the trap door as if it's, like, movable on the ground under the boss, and then the boss right then hits the button, and then the boss he himself falls, down, falls yeah. down and then dies. And then and so, so then they're both looking down the pit. And then, like, the the dog is, like, patting the robot on the back. And then he kind of looks at the camera, and then he just smacks him so that he falls off into the pit. And then, I guess, he becomes the boss. And then he just sort of picks up the cigar that this boss has had for this time. And um, and then he just puts it in his mouth and goes, heh heh. And then he hits the button. And then the screen, like, closes as if, like, you're looking through, like, a door, kind of. Yeah. And, and that's the end. That's the end of the it. segment. And then that's the that's the last one of the computer animation festival. So, computer and that one's anim- actually. I was gonna say that one's actually kind of like there's sort of a a more um, I guess a moral to it. It's it's sort of like you know the replacement of worker like robots replacing workers or something. Yeah. But it yeah. could also represent at the time how there was a fear that traditional art was going to be replaced by computer animation. And then it's sort of like the the regular artists like fighting back, kind of. Which is which is cool because they animated that short with traditional two D, and then as it goes further and further into the short itself, it becomes more and more three D because they start adding the robot replacements, which are you know cell shaded three D, you know animated and you know other yeah. stuff like that. So they did a good job with that one. It, it had a lot of. There's a lot of so many layers. Yeah. So that's that's computer animation festival. Yeah, that's it. Um, we're finally gonna stop. We're finally, talking about yeah. It. Well, sure. I uh, yeah. It's um, scene by scene, at least. Right. We'll talk about. We'll reference it, of course. You oh, know. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I can't. Re- where did we get the tape? Originally. Didn't it come from Uncle Greg or yeah, something? Yeah, maybe. Hey, shout out I, to Uncle Greg. Thanks for yeah. Uh, yeah for lending us that tape for the last twenty years or so. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Now we have it on Laserdisc, so we don't need you anymore. Uh, we ha- we actually we have it on DVD too. Hmm. Um, we bought a while ago, but it didn't include the the Peter Gabriel Steam music video. I assume because of like copyright. Certain, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, they re-released everything on on DVD, which is cool. Yeah, it's cool because then you can kind of get it like as a digital format you know like and the same company has the first computer animation festival so like it might be cool one day to like get a get get that and watch it yeah because i've never seen it i don't know if yeah you that's have. also on youtube by the way um have you watched it i've watched parts of it not the whole thing oh okay like i've kind of just skimmed through it and then saw that there was like a styro one and then there were the <laughs> other like animal death ones you oh, know right. like, yeah like there's a fly i think in one um but yeah um for the most part i think it was like it's just kind of had its own little shorts but i think the the quality that we that we see in that tape is Mainly the nostalgia factor of yeah. I, I was gonna say to your average viewer, 
it's just going to be like a bunch of really weird random shorts and shit. But it was one of those things where we were really young and we just had this because it was like we had this like bookshelf of tapes. And yeah. when you're like bored as fuck and you don't have anything to do before you the Internet to watch. Yeah, you just look for something to watch, and we saw that. It had, like, a weird, like, font on it and everything. We're like, fuck it, we'll watch it this. It looks festive, you know? Yeah, and it's then, a festival. You know, ba back then, when you're a little kid, you tend to, like, watch shit over and over and over again. Especially, like, Disney cartoons and stuff, which is why, like, if I, like, t to this day, if I watch, like, Aladdin or Lion King, there's, like, this, like, Jason Bourne-esque part of my fucking brain that has like burned in lines and shit that like yeah. I become like activated when I watch it. I'm like, oh fuck, I yeah, know this. It's, especially with like emotions I notice like um like you know there's like a part in Aladdin that you're watching for I just say Aladdin um that you're watching and then like you're sort of like you like because of like a music cue or something like that. It kind of like you're like, uh oh, some shit's gonna go down. Like you yeah. just know in the back of your head. For me, it's the part in that movie when after the magic carpet ride, like they <laughs> land somewhere on a roof or whatever, and then like she and then like they start talking. But it's the point when you when she realizes that um, he's lying. He's not an actual prince. He's still like that beggar guy, and like she gets pissed off at him. He's a street rat. Yeah, he. She knows she's a. He's a street rat, but she's not mad that he's a street rat. He's mad. She's mad that he lied about it. And yeah. but there's sort of that moment when she finds out, and then it's like mad for some reason. That part, whenever I think it, there's like some music cue or something like that in that dialogue beforehand, where like in my head I'm thinking to myself like there some shit's gonna go down. Like yeah. Like, like, even if, like Jaws style when like the camera zooms in. Like. Yeah, and it's which is hilarious because it's really not that it's not like such a dramatic scene. I mean, I in in a way I guess it kind of is, but like it's it's like not nearly as bad as like the end of the movie when that whole fucking Jafar showdown goes on. Oh sure, you know, but like yeah, that that particular part for some reason. It's don't know interesting. Why. I yeah. don't know if there's any... I can't... I'm trying to think if there's, like, shit like that that's happened with me with other movies. I don't think I... Like, Aladdin, not so much. Um, but you know what I'm talking about, right? I do. Like, I I'm, know I know exactly what... Oh, you know what? There I do. Um, in Toy Story, the first Toy Story, when... Woody has Buzz's arm in Sid's house, and, oh, he, and, then, and he turns around, and he, they see It's like, that, what are you trying to pull? Nothing, and then, ah! Yeah, then, yeah, that part for me, I don't know why, every time I watch that part, I'm just like, oh, that's that Like, there's sucks. some shit gonna, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, like it's like emotionally uh, jarring. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's, it's really weird how that shit sticks with you, because you watch it so many fucking times, you get the same feeling every time. It's almost like muscle memory, but like emotion-based. I don't know, yeah. it's really weird. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we're ju both just crazy, too. Oh, like. I, I know we're, absolutely, we're crazy. Like, um, this speaking is of gonna crazy, be... do you believe how crazy it is that it's next time on Super Thomas Bros? Oh! Heck! 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 Heck fuck! So, uh... <laughs> Uh, th thank you, thank you everybody for watching. I promise we're pretty much done with Computer Animation Festival. It was a good run. It was a, it was a good goof. And Wait. um, I thought ever, for a second that was gonna be like a bridge or something that I could go on top of, but I'm like, well, uh, I'm not gonna uh, just. Uh, Ocarina of Time style. Yeah, right. Thanks. Uh, um, Seven sages. Sure. So, oh god. Uh, oh, oh god, it's happening. Oh, Wait. Okay. It is. Oh my oh, god. Oh shit. Because I shot a grenade egg, I was trying to aim at that flower down there, and it just blew up in my face. <laughs> um, and like, and then I'm like, oh shit, I can just walk on it. Okay, so next time on Super Thomas Bros, we figure out what's going on in that pot of gold, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Cool. Uh, so thank you everybody for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Wow. wow. Bye everybody. Wow. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh man, I really thought I was gonna vom for a minute. It's happening. Is it's that, bigger. Uh, it's better. <laughs> that's how every Super Thomas Bro episode ends. You're like, am I going to bomb? Pretty much, yeah.